Hey guys, it's Kyler with BitRush. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Ethereum with NanoMiner. So the first thing you're going to want to do, open up your web browser and type in nanopool.org. Come here and choose the coin you want to mine. In our case it's going to be Ethereum. Click on Quick Start, which will open up uh, this menu here that's going to show you how to get it done. You need to download the nano miner, so go ahead and click on the nano miner. This will bring you to uh, nano miner and nano pool GitHub. You want to just click on the one that you're going to use. So if you're on Linux, you're going to click Linux. If you're on Windows, you're going to click Windows. Um, I don't believe they have one for Mac, so if you're on Mac, sorry. Um, we're on Windows, just go ahead and click to the Windows. It's going to start downloading NanoMiner Windows Zip. That's complete. You can click it and open it. Um, then we're just going to extract two. And in our case, I want to do it to the wet, uh, desktop. desktop and we have um, nano miner so before we can start mining we need to set up our config file just click on the config file to open it um, the, by default it's just gonna have a uh, ethereum wallet address I believe it's the developers address and nothing else you can just erase that I already have some um, configuration settings set up, so I'm just going to paste them in and go over what they all are. So, um, first I have the ETH hash. This is going to be everything you need to mine Ethereum and if on your GPU. If you also want to mine on your CPU, um, this is going to be for Monero. Or if you only have a CPU and not a GP you don't have a graphics card, you want to mine just on your CPU, you could use just this one. Uh, but this video is about uh, Ethereum, so I'm guessing you're going to want the top settings here. So I just separated into um, two different areas, the ETH hash and the random X for the miner. I have my wallet equals, and you just paste in your address here. This is very important because this is where all of your Ethereum is going to be sent. Second, you're going to specify your coin, coin equals, in our case ETH for Ethereum. If you're mining Ethereum Classic, it would be ETC. As you can see, if you're mining um, Monero, it's XMR, I believe, and I don't even have that here. probably should. Um, and rig name, you can name your rig. I have mine named Shovel1, and your email address. This is where they're going to send all of the... Um, messages about your mining rig if it goes down or it goes offline or anything like that I tend to get a little bit too much email so um, instead I have password because what this is also going to be is your password so if you don't want to get emails just use a password you can also specify your mining pool um, as you see I've done with my Monero miner um, for me, I'm, I'm in the United States. My top pool is going to be the West. You don't have to do this. You don't have to specify your pool, as you see with my Ethereum setup. If you don't specify any of these settings, it's going to automatically just create them for you. Um, so basically, all you really need to specify is your coin and your wallet. Um, once you have these, just go ahead and save. Just verifying those are correct and that's it now click on nano miner it's going to open up uh, the command prompt here and you want to allow access for your firewall okay nano miner eth hash currency ethereum my wallet just verify all your settings are correct email is password and as you can see it already added me to the pools without me setting up the pools here um, I do have US West US East Europe 2 Europe 1 
um, Japan, Asia, Australia. So it's auto setting up um, those for me. And then I come down a little bit to the random X. It has my wallet there, rig name, uh, my password. And it's adding me to the pools that I've assigned here. And so the auto pool sorting is disabled because I've assigned them. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you want it to auto um, sort based on what's best for you, don't assign them as I did with the Ethereum. If you want them um, set statically how, how you prefer, you can um, program them in um, through those settings that you saw. And that's it. We're just looking um, here now. We're going to go ahead and start seeing if any shares are accepted. So it looks like, uh, nope, I thought a share was accepted on Monero. And what you need to do now, <coughs> you need to just wait for your first share to be accepted and then about 15 to 20 minutes and it will start showing up in the web portal. And so we come up to the web portal here, and it's just going to be eth.nanopool.org. Um, so it'll look like this. Type in your address here. So um, this is how you're going to find uh, your miners. You just type in the address for your mining pool. And hit search. I've already done that, so it brings up your page here. I'll go ahead and refresh. And you can see I've been mining a little bit in the past. You have my balance, how much percentage you are to your Ethereum payout, um, your last reported hash rate, because we just started this up. So uh, you have your different mining rigs, shovel one and shovel two. I have another one that I have running, but it's not online right now. Click on settings, and this is where you can change your payout. Your email address is going to be your password. Your minimum payout you can change. I already have mine set to the minimum, so you're good. And that's it. You're going to just watch it. If you want to see your individual rigs, I can click here and view into um, you know, just that particular rig and how many shares it's got and um, the amount of money it's been earning, um, a hash rate, anything like that you want to know. It's all in here. Um, they have calculators, and then you can track your payments. I, like I said, I haven't got any yet. I just started mining on here the other day. If we go to all time, I've been mining um, about a little less than 24 hours, and I stopped a little bit here. Um, so the reason why I like Nano Miner is really easy to set up. Has a slick interface. Uh, they don't charge much. It's only a 1% fee on your mining, and um, the normal, you know, Ethereum payment um, fee gas fee to send the Ethereum to your balance. Um, so it's a little bit lighter than others. Um, the one thing I would say that, you know, I would like to see uh, maybe changed or, you know, made a little bit better is being able to convert my uh, Monero um, and the same thing for Monero. So you go to xmr.nanopool and you can um, type in your, your wallet for Monero and find that. Um, but I wish that you could auto convert the Monero into Ethereum and just get one payout in Ethereum like you can on some other platforms. That's the one feature that they're kind of missing here. Um, but you are saving a little bit and not paying all the extra fees and still a nice slick interface. Um, I really like it, so I just wanted to show this to you guys. Again, this isn't a commercial or anything or an advertisement. Um, just a product I like, and I think that um, you know makes it really easy to mine here on the Nano Miner um, in the Nano Pool. And um, if you guys want, I'll leave the link in the description to get to um, Nano Pool. And uh, yeah, have a great time, guys. Happy mining. See you in the next video. Go ahead and subscribe if you like this content. Click the bell if you want to get notifications like, share with your friends. Um, hope to see you at the next video. Thank you.